Okay, so I really, really enjoyed the Disney Plus Star Wars streaming TV show, Andor. And there were a ton of great characters in there, tons of great scenes, and it's really hard to pick a favorite. But one of my favorites is this scene right here where the Cantwell-class arrestor cruiser comes up behind Luthen Rael and begins the scene where we get to see what a great ship Luthen has. And it's just an absolute blast. It was one of the greatest scenes in the previews and it's one of the greatest scenes in star wars across all generations if you ask me but for me i really enjoyed the captain of the ship and what i mean by that is i loved his acting and the way he looked and at the end of the scene when he simply shook his head with a knowing tell that he understood that this was only going to cause the Emperor to escalate things in the galaxy because people were not cooperating. And I just thought it was done so well. And I remember thinking to myself, man, I would love to get an action figure of that captain or even be able to do his costume. And then it dawned on me. I actually have almost everything for that costume, which you may have seen in a previous video. All I needed was maybe a different rank plaque and the tunic. Well, I got a hold of the tunic. <laughs> Let's get into this. All right. Welcome to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. It's good to have you. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about something that I say often that I don't normally do on this channel, but my last two videos have been about the same thing. Star Wars costumes. This time we're going to be talking about the Danuo Novo Black Imperial Officer's Tunic. In a previous video, I went over an entire costume on how to become an Imperial ISB agent. And it dawned on me that with just the simple switching of the tunics, you could also be the black clad Imperial Officer as well. And you don't even have to switch the name plaque, but I decided to do that anyway. So today we're going to take a look at this tunic really fast. I'm not going to show you the rest of the costume that goes along with it because like I said, that was in my previous video and we'll see what the quality is here and I'll talk a little bit about Danuo Novo and see if this may be something you might be interested in doing as well. Okay, as I mentioned, this comes from a company called Danuo Novo. They used to be called Anovos. I'm slowly starting to begin to trust them again. If you've been following my channel in any fashion, you'll know I, we had problems with them in the past and then they collapsed and became Danuo Novo. But I'm still only ordering stuff they have in stock. And I will tell you, this was the Imperial Tunic Officer Tunic Accessory, excuse me, black in color. And it was in stock and it was also on sale. If you go to their website and check around, you might be able to find some sales sometimes. But you order it and this is just under 300 bucks. I think it was like 230 or something like that. It comes in this thin box right here just like this on the back it's got a huge description of everything and it looks about like that now the unfortunate thing is when they send this and they don't have a choice it comes out of the box pretty wrinkled because it's all folded up so let's get it out get it laid out and take a look at it okay so here's a sneak peek of the entire ensemble top on I have some other items on here to include this hat that I won't be talking about in this video. Just go back to the ISB costume video if you're interested in a little bit more information on the hat. And I'll talk a little bit about the rank plaque as well. Okay, the first thing that I noticed about this jacket, and I'll do a lot of comparison to the ISB white jacket as well, because there's actually a lot of difference. I was a little shocked that this figure would be the same thing, but black. This one is 100% polyester and wow, it is way thicker and way heavier. It's almost like that white ISB jacket was a summer jacket and this is a winter jacket. This thing is just substantial, very well done, very, very sturdy. It's like a real suit jacket. It's not like a costume. I mean, if you know you had some sort of fashion affair where this was real, you could wear this as a formal garment. It's just amazing. And like I said, it's 100% polyester, very heavy, very hot. I started to sweat very quickly. What I like about this is it has all of these snaps. You'll see there's two here where the breast part comes across the front and then they go all the way down the front of the garment right here, 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 and then these go across. And also it has the hook and loop neck, which as I understand it is actually canon and part of the real uniform in the movies and in the show. And what I also like about this is underneath here, there are more snaps. So it snaps up here to hold it together and balance out some of that weight. And then this comes across, you get a nice snug fit. There's 
beautiful seam lines coming down from the collar in the front here and down the sides. It's got both of the pockets for the code cylinders. We'll talk about the rank plaque in just a second. Then when you get further down on the inside, you see more of the seams around the waist area. And then there's the seam that goes across the front here that allows you to know pretty much where the belt goes. And then on the interior, look at this. This is just like a real jacket. It's lined with uh, satin or whatever this is on the inside. Very good, high quality, like I said, very thick, very heavy. And I, one of two things is going on. Either I've started to lose weight, which is um, actually happening, or the 2XL for this jacket is a little bit bigger, actually fairly bigger than the 2XL for the ISB jacket. Because as you saw, this one almost looks like a smock on me. It's, it's kind of big. Um, so I had to kind of cinch the belt to keep the midsection from bagging out a little bit. And it was a little bit of a, a journey to get it on. On the back here, same thing, beautiful curved seams coming down, seams down the back of the jacket and over here. And this belt line goes all the way across the back so you can see where your belt is supposed to go. And because this is 100% polyester, there's almost no wrinkles in it, just a few in the sleeves. It's almost ready to wear right out of the box. But there you have it. That's the black officer tunic from Danuo Novo, 100% polyester, thick, good quality, and really fast. I got the rank plaque in the cylinders, as I talked about in my last video for a costume from a company called Bailey Builds. And I got a new Mimban Major rank for this costume. And once again, it's three red, two blue, and the magnets just go on the back like that. And that's what holds it to the costume. So you don't mess up the front here, having to Velcro anything or sew something in. All right, so that's the quick look. Great quality, thick, a little bit bigger in size than the ISB, plus it's a little bit big on me as well anyway, but a great custom, great piece from Danuo Novo. I can highly recommend if you're gonna go down that route, just make sure you measure yourself really well because you don't want one something, something that's gonna be so big, but you also don't want it to be too small. And if you're not a subscriber, maybe consider doing that for me. That's a great way to support my efforts here at Paul's Collectibles. And if you're already a subscriber or somebody who's been checking out my videos for quite a while, you know, I greatly appreciate it. And with that, I'll see you on the next video.